number one motivational coach of all time, Vince Lombardi. When you mention football coach, the first image that comes to mind is Lombardi. He is the icon among coaches. A certain magic still lingers in the very name. Winning isn't everything, but it's the only thing. In our business, there is no second place. Either your first or your last. Lombardi was an autocrat. Everybody grabbing out there. Nobody tackling. At a time when coaches were expected to be autocrats. I didn't come in and have a meeting with the players and say, I wonder how they're going to accept me. I said to myself, they're going to have to accept me. I'm not worried about their morale. I'm worried about Vince Lombardi's morale here. He knew how to drive men. They achieved more than they thought they could. And he didn't always do it in a way, I think, that endeared players to him at the moment. But if you go back and talk to any of Lombardi's guys, they swore by Vince Lombardi. And to try to run this play in the alley. This is a famous power sweep of Green Bay. They tell him to play. Jerry Kramer would look up. We're running this way. They gain eight yards and go back to the huddle. And they knew it was coming. That's motivation. That's intimidation. To Jim Taylor on a power sweep, cutting back at the 10. Taylor is in for the touchdown. The Packers won five championships in seven years. Still, Lombardi was never satisfied. He had no tolerance for mistakes. What the hell's going on out here? If you didn't play the way Lombardi wanted you to play, he'd get rid of you. I'll tell you something, Leroy, you're not going to get your job back unless we get a better performance. If you didn't do what he wanted you to do, you were gone. Get out of here. Oh, God. Get him out of there, will you? Lombardi demanded the best and never had a losing season in Green Bay. Winning under pressure. That's why the Packers won the Ice Bowl and why Lombardi is our number one motivational coach. It's third down. There's 16 seconds left in the game. It's the Packers' last timeout. Tells Bart Starr to run the damn ball. Let's get out of here. And in so doing, takes a magnificent gamble. Starr begins the count. Takes the snap. He's got the quarterback. He's in for the touchdown. The Packers are out in front. If that gamble failed, if the Green Bay Packers are stopped on the one-yard line and time runs out, maybe the Super Bowl trophy is not even named after it. And the Green Bay Packers are going to be NFL champions for the third straight year. Super Bowl II was the crowning achievement for the master. In his final game as Green Bay's head coach, Lombardi won easily and savored one last ride for the ages. 606 Eastern Standard Time. Vince Lombardi was carried off the field for the last time. He was carried not just to the locker room, but a few steps closer to the Hall of Fame. There's a gleam, man. There's a gleam. There have been many great motivators, but our number one motivational coach of all time is still the yardstick by which all others are measured. Every guy that's coached in the National Football League will always, to some degree, be influenced by what Lombardi was and what he stood for. Vincent T. Lombardi was the consummate coach, and it is his name that is etched on the game's ultimate prize. It more than represents the guy that